Hey folks, welcome back to the journal. I received a few comments this morning on my videos that Airshow was down again, so I thought I'd investigate just to do a date check. It's Monday the 5th of September around 8.30 a.m. in the morning, and I'm going to launch Airshow on my iOS device. It's been cleared from the cache, and so a fresh relaunch of a program seems to prove that there's nothing wrong with it. And if I check the version number, you can see that it's 0.5.2. The next thing to check is the certificate. So I'm going to go into my settings and scroll down to profile and device management and look at the specific certificate for Airshow, which is currently Beijing Micro Child Technology, and it all seems to be running fine. But if you're still not convinced, what I'm going to do for you now is to delete Airshow off my iOS device and reinstall it as if it was a fresh program. Now, as always, when I install or reinstall Airshow, I recommend going to savagepool.com as that usually has the most up-to-date and reliable version of the program. Simply tap Get Airshow and then the Install button and that should pop the program back onto your device. Let's go back to the home screen now and see what's happening. You can ignore those other two versions of Airshow, that's the Bills.io one, which never loses its certificate and a beta test version of Airshow that I have on my device. If we try and launch the one that's just been installed, you get the usual untrusted enterprise developer error. But to go into the settings, you can see that I can now trust the same certificate that I had before. And once I've done that, I should be able to launch Airshow and get straight back in. It looks as if we're in that unusual situation where it works for some people, but doesn't work for others. In the last example, it stopped working for me, but then I received comments that Airshow was working fine for other people. So we're into that grey area of it being a bit odd for everyone. As for the developer, well, they are not reporting anything unusual. The last tweet they sent out was on September the 2nd. So as far as I'm concerned, it's a false alarm. If it's not working, try the savagepool.com link. And you can all help by posting in the comments below about whether it's working for you or not. And we can try and help each other out. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now.